Peace, peace, family. This your boy, Young Pharaoh, and you are now watching Crumb TV. This is Daniel, LOL, JK, and you're now watching Crumb TV. Hey, this is Reggae Boy, and I'm watching Crumb TV. Watching Crumb TV? You are now watching Crumb TV. This is Miss Diva, and you are watching Crumb TV. You are now watching Crumb TV. This is Lady Lee from Las Vegas. You are now watching Crumb TV. I love this shit. I'm watching right now. Crumb TV misleading her because she starts to take on this ego that white supremacy has given her right because white supremacy has given our woman this false sense of self and that they have to be men right and they're not in their role they're very valuable as much as the brain and the heart is valuable but they have two different functions you have to know your role and the function in the family the unit and our women have been given a false sense of power by white supremacy that they don't need a man black men are the only man on this planet that is not valuable to their woman that's your value. She doesn't need you to survive because of white supremacy. Anytime a woman doesn't need you to survive, you cannot be truly valuable to her. She doesn't need you. She wants you. She lusts and desires for emotional security. But to survive, she can survive without you. And that's not supposed to be. Because in nature, she couldn't. Correct. You see what I'm saying? So the black man is devalued. And now, when you say the black woman is God, you are you are furthering that damage because what you're telling the black woman is, I'm your leader, I'm ahead of you. When the truth is, black men are the head and the protector of that woman. I mean, look at our physicality. Look at our bodies. Our bodies are made to protect our bones. Men have bigger muscles because to protect the bone structure of the body. The purpose of the body is to carry the brain. The reason why you have a body, the, the actual anatomy of the body is to carry the brain. And the purpose of the brain is to store information. And the purpose of life is to gain enough knowledge to understand what you truly are. That's the objective, to know thyself. It's all over the walls of Egypt. Know thyself. That's the purpose of life, to know thyself. And you won't know thyself until you have opened up to the all-seeing eye. So when you tell black women that they are God... This is going to be mind-blowing. Here's what you're doing. Black men cannot look at the black woman as God without loving themselves first. Because people can only love you to the extent they love themselves. So if you're telling us to worship an external thing, you're only going to get the amount of love we have for ourselves. We can't go past that. So for you to be like, you're a black woman as God, you immediately have to say, well, the black man is God to the black woman, and the black woman is God to the black man. So it goes both ways. So now the woman says... I'm God? Yeah. And the man says, I'm God? Self-love first. See, when you say Jesus is God and Jesus is Lord, you are now taking the power away from yourself because I can only love Jesus as much as I love myself. This is the problem with Christianity. You, be you become confused in how to love because no one told you to love yourself first. They said, love Jesus more than anything in the world. Put God before everything. No one ever told you to, that you were God. And you put yourself before everything. And you love yourself. This is what we taught in our religions in Africa. Is that it's, everything starts with self. And even in an Ifa, Ifa religion, they teach it wrong. They're wrong too. I have to tell them. And they get mad at me. I say, listen, all of the gods are aspects of self. And if anybody tells you anything outside of you, and doesn't show you how that connects to you and your being, they're not, not teaching you anything but devil worship. They're teaching you idolism. They're not teaching you how to praise anything external of you. How can I say, I love nature? Oh, look at the birds, look at the bees, when I have not even loved my own body. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. Because. You understand what I'm saying? No, like, absolutely. When you absolutely. tell, I'm when you tell you. a black man that the black woman is God, what you're doing is making black men hate themselves. Because in order for the black man to love the black woman truly and worship her, he has to love himself first. Right. If you say the black woman is God and the black man is God, them together are God. And it gives value to both. And they both have this value. Like, oh, we're God. We're God together. Then I appreciate her. And at the simultaneous time, she appreciates me. <laughs> and we appreciate each other. And that is the reason to split the atom in the first place. I was just going to, you know, ask a uh, provocative question. Actually, to your point, uh, I just want to kind of go from a different angle. So... <laughs> I, when, when talking to my Christian brothers and sisters, I'll say something like, hey, uh, we are the gods. And they'll say, oh, you can't say that. And I'll say, well, 
uh, are we not God's children? Yeah, we're yeah, yeah, we're the children of God. I'm like, well, if God has children, is it safe to say that they are God's to 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 the exact point that if a zebra has a a, a baby, that their offspring is a zebra as well. So uh, I would, I'm, and, and, and I'm just asking, I would, I would assume your understanding, if not, please, you know, correct me, that if the black woman is God, then whatever she gives birth to uh, by virtue of her uh, godliness, that is a God as well. So um, I think we've right. already no, but established. The thing, is, the thing is like the black woman is not giving birth to anything. I just want to say this. And what you're saying is true. By the way, I, I agree. What I'm saying is the black woman is a portal. She's a portal. She doesn't have a choice. It's nature that does that. But you allowed it to come through you. That's the only thing you did. You allowed it. What I'm saying to you is that the black woman is not the creator. She's a portal of creation. It's no creator because energy can't be created nor destroyed. We're eternal. So if we're eternal, there's no creator. There's only cycles. There's only cycles of this eternal isness, right? We have to be careful with the word create because how could energy be created or destroyed? It's only transformed. Life is eternal. So we can't say the black woman is the creator. God would be source, right? Um, what we would call source of what it is, but everything stems from source, so everything is God. Everything is God, technically, right? right. And when you love yourself truly, you look at everything as a deity, and that's what we did in Africa. That's why India India has 30,000 gods, right? Because it's like, when you really tap into spirituality, you don't have one god. No. Everything is god. It's like a celebration. And in Africa, we had a god of the ocean. We had the god of the water. Anything that sustained our life was god. I wanted to show you from the biblical standpoint so that you can always have those verses to show you that god is man and woman if we're going to teach that point but really god is everything when you really become awoke it's the all-seeing i everything is me i am i am right the consciousness beyond a gender beyond the genders beyond anything it's just consciousness and i am all things i am that woman and how i treat that woman reflects how i feel about myself and that brings you back to my point my point is we have to teach people how to love themselves. This is why our motto on Carbonation is I love myself. We're the C-E-L-L-F because we're cells, right? Made mm. of cells. Practically, we're cells inside of our own body. Teach. Right? So we say self to remind us that self is a cell. And it goes into biology. So check the cell. To love is to understand. That I understand myself. And if you understand yourself, you understand life. And if you understand life, then you know you are life. And if you are life, then you must worship everything. You must praise and worship everything. Because you are everything. And I love myself. So it starts out with self first, right? Understanding you and how you are projecting this whole reality as a, as a mirror. Walking around inside of your own self. Learning that you are in yourself. And everything else is a fractal or a reflection of self. And the way you treat the external is how what's, what, what reflects the internal. Well, there's no internal really, right? But we're talking about mental. Your psychology, your mind, the way you treat other people reflects who you are. Right? So when I say that the black woman is God, it's misleading because you're doing the same thing Christianity and these religions are doing. Allah is the only God and I bear witness that Allah is the only God before me. And I'm like, wait, well, who is Allah? This is ideology. This is devil worship. That's not truth. The truth is that Allah is all. It's in the word all. Being all of the all. All of the all. Allah is all. It's the all. And we are the all. And this is why in the Bible and in the Quran it says, how can I say I love God whom I've never seen? And hate my brother who I've seen every day. I'm a hypocrite. Come on. Right? Come on. He said, you cannot love God who you have never seen and hate your brother who you've seen every day. And then the disciples come to Jesus and say, Jesus, what is the greatest commandments? And he says, the two. The first one is love thy God with all thy mind, thy heart, and thy soul. And you know God is self. Love thyself with all thy heart, thy mind, and thy And guess what? The, the second one. He said, the second one is just like the first one. Love thy neighbor the way you love yourself. And that was it. That's the greatest commandment. If you could actually decipher that, what is being said right here is what? Love yourself 
because the way you love yourself, love your neighbor. Because the way you love your neighbor is the way you love yourself. And that is the key to it all. Love thy God with all thy mind, thy heart, thy soul. And the second one is just like the first one. Because it's the same thing. Because to love your neighbor is to love yourself. If you don't love your neighbor, you, you can't love yourself. You can't love God. But people are given an interpretation of these religions the wrong way. They don't understand the religion the way it's supposed to be taught. So you get all of these, you know, viruses, right, so to speak, of cells that come out with misinformation and they're they're spreading their virus every day, right? And the truth is seldom and far and few and not many people understand it, but the, those that do, we, 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 we teach, we try to teach, we try to teach, we try to help. And that's why I called y'all like, yo, bro, I got to call that's a student because I don't want the brother to be putting out the misinformation and I would I would rather give you this knowledge, let you look at it for yourself, examine it, do further research, but make it make sense because women have to be with men to make a baby. We can sit around and talk about Parthino Genesis all we want. It's not something you've seen. It's not something we've experienced. So honestly, we haven't observed it, so it's not real. And if we have observation of it, we can clearly debunk it and say, like, you know what? We can see it in asexual animals. Asexual, meaning that they're male and female. They're not one. And then we're getting this interpretation from the white man who can't even see nature for what it is because it lacks melanin. So the white man is actually not the originator of truth. Well, um, he's uh, discovering. He's discovering. Go ahead. Uh, before you go to that point, I just wanted to uh, add, uh, say one thing and ask one thing. So the first thing I, I wanted to say was, uh, to your point that God is in everything, uh, It's it's been um, painfully obvious that they've removed the divine feminine energy from the aspect of God. So uh, not to say that uh, the black man is not God. Uh, but to say, yeah, everything is God, including the black woman who has been infamously left out. That was just the thing I wanted to say. The other thing. No, no, the black woman is not left out. The black woman is being used as a weapon what? to keep our families from uniting. The black man is the head. We don't we don't uplift black men. Show me where they uplift black men. No, no, I, 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 I definitely no, you, agree. You're talking about the divine feminine. But what about divine masculine? I want to know where he's at. And what does it mean to be divine masculine? What does masculine mean? What is feminine? What is it? Because you should have feminine in you. You should have divine feminine in you. And matter of fact, you're not even able to tap into real truth unless you have divine feminine. Because divine feminine is empathy, compassion, understanding. And masculinity is structure, order, discipline. You know what I'm saying? Strength. And, and that's, well, it's a different kind of strength. But because it takes strength to be compassionate and empathetic. So, I guess what I'm saying, these are attributes and principles that are not constricted by the gender. These are attributes. This is beyond physical manifestation. These are attributes that should be in all human beings. Divine feminine, divine masculine needs to be in balance in all, all beings. If I'm a male and I'm all masculine, I'm out of balance. This is where white people are. White people are a man, rigid, all masculine. You don't have enough melanin. You know, melanin is like the SIM card in your phone. And the sun is its tower. Right? So when you have that melanin in you, you got more bars on your cell phone. That means you're more of what we all are. You're more of the all than, than me in human form. So it's a spectrum, right? And, the, and when you got less bars, you can't really connect the, the source the way we can. We're learning from someone that is not able to do what we're able to do, which is tap into source consciousness. And they're going all around the world writing thousands and trillions of books and going to the bottom of the sea and going out of space and going everywhere but self. Everywhere else but self. And when I say that the external is the internal, is who you are, and you're discovering all these things, but you just need to sit still. Don't move. You move too, you're doing too much. Why? Because they lack the ability to connect. 
Black people would never create airplanes. We're the most primitive people on the planet because we're closer to nature. Meaning the most things we was going to do was going to fuck, we was going to eat, we was going to chill. Niggas wasn't going to be creating no car. We wasn't going to create no cell phones. We wasn't going to do none of that. That's the lower self trying to connect to source. Our world that we live in is from fear. White people are in fear of nature because they don't know how to understand things. They have to take things apart and dissect them and look at them deeply to understand them when we just innately know. They're not able to just innately know. They're not, they don't have that inbuilt sixth sense. We was not going to build no roads. We're not going to build no shit like that. The only road we build is the one that's that's traveled. Our feet would have created the road. That's it, nigga. <laughs> Stomping on the tree, maybe cut a little pathway. But we as people, we can see the nature of our people are not. We have now grown to adapt to their way of living, their own life, their way of living. Of course, black men acknowledge an uplifted black woman because we loved ourselves. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I definitely see where you're coming from. The other one I had was a question to try to kind of drive the conversation. It's a little bit rhetorical, so forgive me. Have you ever seen... <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling immature. I'm giggly. Have you ever seen a girl with like a really big clitoris and it's so big it looks like a little penis? Oh, yeah. I teach this all the time. I teach this that the penis and the clitoris are the same. They're the same thing outside of the, be, the ability to be. It's made from the same material. I've researched this. I've done classes on the whole thing. Absolutely. Our similarities are beyond, you know, it's beautiful to see how we came from each other and how we are each other. You know what I mean? Like the similarities of each other, the beauty of it all. And, um, you know, I just, it, it, for me, it's like, we just have to understand that everything was one before it was two. That's it, man. That we were one before the original woman wasn't a woman. It was her hermaphrodite called Adam. And then remember that part. And then Adam was laid down and took the woman out of Adam. We are one. You can't separate one from the other. We're one. When you take one away, it's not the same without the other. We need each other. And people are teaching this information which inflates a false ego in our black woman. She should know that her role is to be a mother and a wife, a comforter, and a teacher of the children and a cultivator of our culture. And she should know her true strengths is to be everything a man is not. That's exactly her importance and her value, is to be everything that we're not. It's because when you are the everything that we're not, we're able to understand ourselves through you. But when you're being what, we're, what we are, we have confusion. We have confusion. And that's what we're dealing with right now because of white supremacy. White supremacy allows your woman to survive without you. And so you're not valued. And from that, over hundreds of years, being in that situation, we have adapted and mutated into this being of, of self-hate. Self, it's all stemming from self-hate. How we treat our woman it's a reflection about how we feel about ourselves. But let's look at this. You couldn't make music talking about killing animals. There's not a genre of music that white people, Chinese people, Indian people have about murdering each other as human beings. We are the only people on this planet that they, white supremacy, can easily regulate and say, no, you're not allowed to talk about murder. We're not putting it out. But no, no, no. They're promoting it on the radio openly. They're promoting it to our people, to ourselves. They're allowing it. This is the government. The government can easily say, no, we're not having that. They invest in it. Matter of fact, you can't even sell a black record without them. So we want that gangster trap. Not Yeah, we want that stuff. Yeah, give us that. Why did they do that? You think that was strategic? You couldn't talk about murdering animals, but you can talk about, and this is what Dave Chappelle was saying, right? right. He said, I said nigga over 50,000 times in my show. And one time I say something about gay people and then they, come on, you don't think that, come on. Wow. 
Come on, bro. Like, black people murder each other. He said that the baby, right? The baby says something about AIDS or some shit like that. And they try to end his career. But he literally shot a dude in Baltimore. See, black men are not valued. This is why we can't value our woman. You can talk to your face turn blue and tell black men that God is woman. Nigga, they gonna treat her bad. You know how these people treat Jesus? You, you trying to hurt black women, nigga? You better tell black men they God, and you better tell black women they God. You better tell them they both God because it start with self-love. We can't give something we don't got. You saying, yo, we need to honor this woman. This woman needs to be uplifted. And that's good for the woman because she builds her value. But what are you doing for the black man in the process? So this is the same that's going on in religion. They're saying, look out there. Jesus is your God. But Jesus represented the son. We know that Jesus is a principle of the son at his highest form of consciousness. So Jesus was nothing but Haru. We understand this. But you took Jesus and made him a white man. And it's the interpretation of these religions that is the problem. But who interpreted? The Greek. You know, I've been teaching this knowledge for a long time. The problem with you saying that the black woman is God is it belittles black men. And it makes us feel unimportant. And we do, when you say, we could, you could say all day, you're the black woman, the black woman is God. But without saying the black man is God and showing his importance and showing his value and don't reduce us to just being her servant, are you crazy? You're going to reduce the black man, the brain of operations. The black, black woman is the heart. But you're going to take the brain until it is here to serve the heart. We're here to serve each other. You know, how can one not serve the other? We had to serve each other. Bro, the, the black woman is the heart. The black man is the brain. He is Man is mind, woman is vibration. She takes that mind and gives it, gives it vibration. Man is the blueprint, and woman is the expression of that blueprint, right? If you look at every plant out there, right, you see the rose. You see the rose the way it grows, right? The rose is red, and it's shaped a certain way. But there's a code, there's a genetic code that makes it like that. That code is the intelligence behind the expression. And that's who black men are. Black men are the mind of operation. Black women are the expression of black man and his mind. And we are one being united together to make what we call the high, the most high. We are the most high in human form. But in understanding the role is that the man is the head and the woman is the body. The man must lead. Our woman wants us to be strong. No woman wants to rule over her man. She doesn't even want that at her essence. She's just that way because she can't trust the fact that we're going to be able to lead because the white man's been so powerful. She feels that she has to do it on her own. She don't want to do that, man. The black woman doesn't want to take lead. Her body isn't made to lead. Her body is made to nurse and nurture and comfort you. She is your comfort. You're made to leave. She is there for your home. Your, your, to take whatever you give her and make it flower and give the cult that you have, the information that you have, culture. Your mind is the cult. She's the culture. She's going to bring it into fruition. Anything you give a woman, just like the earth. If you plant a seed in the earth, the earth gives you abundance. If you give a woman um, love, she gives you, she'll give you uh, romance. If you give a woman um, food, she'll make, you know, dinner. She'll make you, give her a house, she'll make it a home. You mm. know what I'm saying? Come on. You understand? Know Anything you give a woman, she's going to multiply it. What we're watching with our woman is they disrespecting us, but they're multiplying white supremacy. And you're not understanding what she's doing. She's being used as a weapon. She doesn't even look at us as men. She just looks at us as someone that, we, that, can, that she can deal with emotionally. But she doesn't need anything else outside of you. She don't need nothing with you. She arguing with you because she don't respect you. But that's just out of insanity. I mean, we're in a zoo, for God's sake. We're not in our natural environment, in our natural mind. Right. The animals that's born in the zoo think what's in the zoo is normal. So, of course, people are sitting around like, yeah, you know, they're blind. They're dumb, deaf, and blind. They don't know what's going on. They need Caesar. Mm. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> You know, they need us to hit them with that green shit, that conscious shit, make them aware. And then we can run back into nature and be one with nature. But we have to leave this system. And that's what their fear is. That's why they make it put up movies like Planet of the Apes, because they fear a black planet. They fear the rise of a black messiah. Someone that will bring the mind to the people that will get them to understand. This is why they don't like Farrakhan. They got Farrakhan off social media immediately. Mm. 
right. off social media because he's talking about black supremacy. Can't have that. Anybody that rises, and the only reason why I'm still online is because I don't have much of a following. People know about me when I'm on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Still. But if I was to ever blow up, they would have killed me or they would have caught me offline. You know what I'm saying? Right. So remember, when you tell the black woman she's God, you are belittling the, the head. And you're making her our head, and that's where we'll be backwards. That's the devil. The devil is evil. Evil is to live backwards. That's why evil spelled backwards is lives. I'm gonna send you two audio books. One is by Shaharazad Ali, right? It's called The Guide to Understanding the Black Woman. I want you to listen to that book, bro. It's gonna make you cry. I, I promise you, it's gonna make you cry. And there's another short book, is a Williams letter. I'm gonna send you both of them right now. And when you, whenever you get a chance, just listen to them. It'll change your perspective on everything. When you understand the history behind our relationship being destroyed by white supremacy and the woman being used as a weapon to keep us separated and divided. For instance, you are your father's child because the sperm carries the consciousness, which is the spark, the energy. And the egg is being fertilized by... The egg represents the body. The woman carries the body. That's why her body makes the body. This is why a woman's supposed to take care of your body. She's supposed to be a witch. She's supposed to be someone that has herbs and is worried and concerned about what have you ate. What's, what is your body? What is the condition of your body? She doesn't stop caring for the body because it's outside of her womb. She, she, her, it goes, it extends her love and her womb extends into her home. And she's supposed to take care of your body because she manufactures it. That's what her egg is. Her egg is the body. And outside of that womb, she takes care of everyone's body. She is our doctor. She's supposed to know all the herbs. She's supposed to take care of your body. She's supposed to know how to heal everything. she That's who she truly is. She's our doctor. Check this out. Man is the producer of all life. The woman is the sustainer of all life. And and that's how it works. It's, it's hand in hand. Produce, sustain, reproduce, sustain. You know, produce, she sustains, she takes that that seed that you gave her, that spark of light, and she sustains it. She gives it one cell, and her body gives two cells, and four cells, and six cells, and eight cells, and she takes it, she sustains it. And that's the same thing with the earth, right? Because this is why the nation of God's earth called black on the earth. Because when you plant a seed in the earth, it does what it needs to do, and boom, you get ten times what you, what you put in. And our women are still being great. They're the best at doing it. Just like black men are the best at being ignorant, black women are the best at being ignorant. The black woman is very powerful in white supremacy. And white supremacy is giving her more power to keep her from promoting what their agenda is. She's taking the white man system and beating into her children. Matter of fact, you couldn't get bad grades because you were going to get your ass beat. She beat white supremacy into you and made you what you are today. Fear. Put the fear of God in the fear of white supremacy. And the black woman is being a very good wife to white supremacy. She's being a very she being a goddess to white supremacy. White supremacy putting her on the platform now. He basically with her now. Now it's interracial. Nigga here and took our woman. He done took it. That's not our woman. Mentally. We have to we have to wake her up to realize who we are. If you don't show her that her man is beautiful, that her man is the greatest, and her man is the we have to promote black men. That's where it starts. You got to promote black men first. Because black men is the head. If the head is dead and the body's going to get up, the woman is the body. You have to say the black man is God and the black woman needs to up, look at her man and say the black man is better than the white man. Right now, we ain't got no land. We ain't got nothing to give her. We ain't got no language. We ain't got no, no literature. What do we have that the black woman can be proud of? Nothing. That's why she got no respect for us. She has no respect. In it. It, it, she's with you emotionally, but as soon as you raise your voice or try to be masculine, she's going to call white supremacy on your true husband. Mm. A man is his own man in his own space. You have every right to be your, your woman is your property. Your children are your property. The reason why they give the baby to the mother is to keep the family divided. Because if you gave rights to the father, the woman will be less likely to leave the home because of her attachment to the children. And the family would stay together as a result. They know this. is psychology one-on-one. But they give the rights to the woman and when she leaves, she has all kind of rights. She can go to a shelter. They got all kind of programs for her. They have all kind of welfare for her. The white man will take care of our woman if you don't. If you don't. There is a third-party interference 
in our relationship. If there wasn't no plan B, we would have to succeed. But white supremacy is a plan B for our woman, so therefore she can't truly value you or focus on you because you cannot provide what white supremacy could provide for her. They have plenty of jobs and opportunities, and white supremacy is a whole system set up for not only men, but women. The answer is to organize ourselves mentally, and those that are chosen to be on the mission will be there for the new earth, and they can hear the knowledge. But we have to uplift black men first because when black men feel good about themselves, we're going to automatically uplift black women. See, when you say the black man is God, what you're doing is you're putting the head first. You're saying the black man is God rise, and the black woman love to see that. Black women love to see our man rise. Now, a lot of them want to challenge you because... They feel they're going to use white supremacy. Nigga, I got white supremacy. I got money. I got my own job. All oh, that's white supremacy. You take money out the way, you take white supremacy away, what do you have, sweetheart? Or what we give you? Let's take white supremacy away. The black man will rule. And in the Willie Lynch letter, it says that she had a high dependence on us. Anything else is this women are afraid. It's out of fear. Women are ruling out of fear. Because they fear that no one's going to have their back. Every black girl wants to be protected by her father, by a man. Every black woman needs to. To put the woman out in the head is only showing the fear of, of her trusting her man. That's all. When you empower a black woman to that level where they're like, oh, I'm goddess, and you have to worship me, and da 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 what you're doing, and I've noticed this psychologically deep set, is an, is an insecurity of their man leading and protecting them father wasn't there black men failed them in life and who can they depend on self they say fuck it i'm a rob for me i don't need no man what i need a man for i get my own money my own car i do everything i need to do i don't need no money but how you get all that money what is money beyond quadrillion species on this planet are living without money we're the only species living with money for our resources Take money out the equation. How would you get your resources then, woman? Right. Let's say we wake up tomorrow and white people are dead on this planet. Ain't no white people at all. Ain't no money. Ain't nothing. Just wake up to that. Meditate on that for me, sir. And see who will rule. Sit with that for a minute and tell me who is the head of this planet. I can tell you for one thing, this technology is going to fall apart overnight. Because black people ain't about to sustain the internet or nothing like that. That shit gonna be gone. <laughs> we ain't doing shit. We not even worried about none of this, man. It ain't us. It ain't us, bruh. Niggas trying to barbecue. Niggas trying to come eat, sleep, up, and chill. Long as we got heat, yeah, we chilling. <laughs> this is our lowest self. The devil has done all this. We just... We just adapt into our environment, brother. We just doing what we need to do. And we are blinded by white supremacy and, and, and seeing what they're doing. But if you take that away, oh, the attitude of our woman would have changed immediately. Yes. Just let it take its course. I guarantee you after 10 years, black men will have had come together. Even with the gangs and all the ignorance, we would have come together. Because black people ain't killing no animals like that unless it's fish. We ain't killing no big ass cows and tearing up meat. I mean, we'll, we'll do it with more fishing than anything. We'll fish. Nigga, nigga, niggas is a fish. Niggas a fish. We'll even do a little hunting. <laughs> niggas gonna fish. Right. <laughs> niggas gonna fish. They getting on that boat. We simple. simple. Black people are the most primitive people on the planet. Now we gotta put on a suit, a tie. A brother don't want to do that for real. We've conditioned and adapted ourselves to that. That's why I love the hood because the hood is actually the true part of black men. It's his way of resisting, and he don't know how to do it right and constructively. But it's the spirit of niggas that I love. That's why I always tell him I'm a nigga, and I want to be a nigga because a nigga is the resistance. Chill, nigga. Nigga ain't never gonna conform. Everything, even in the music, man, fuck this bitch. I got them motherfucking drugs. I got them, man. Everything they talking about is going, is finding a way around white supremacy. And, 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 and it's the most ignorant shit, but it's the spirit of resistance that I love about it.
that's why women love bad guys. They like bad guys. There's something about the bad guy that's just in resistance. He a warrior. He has that warrior spirit. He don't give a fuck. And they love that bad guy. They don't know what they... They don't even want to do the drugs. Nobody wants to talk about shooting people and killing people. But they still love them, don't they? What is it that they love about hip-hop? It's the spirit of resistance. Mm. It's the spirit that black men are warriors and that we can stand up to this shit and find a way around having to conform to cutting out here going against our very nature, putting on a European suit and tie and getting on our knee and asking a woman to have her in. We are kings, bro. And our women are queens, but not all of them. That's why I stay on my nigga shit. I haven't been super duper popular because of the fact that I won't stop being a nigga. <laughs> I won't. That spirit, I'm keeping it. Nigga. Fuck all y'all. I speak Ebonics. Yo, what up, son? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, and I'm the most intelligent, intelligent person ever. I can speak regular and normal if I wanted to. Right. But nah, nah, fuck that. I'm holding that spirit. I'm representing that. I'm holding that like the black flag. Nigga, nigga, I'm a nigga. And I say nigga as far as ignorant, as far as motherfucking resistant, as far as, yeah, this is how you wear your pants? Nah, nigga, this is how we wear your pants. This is your hat right here? This is the way we wear it, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, this is the resistance in everything, nigga. Oh, y'all use these as cigars? You gonna roll it up and weed, nigga. Of course, I'm not doing those things, but it's the resistance to white supremacy for me. <laughs> I'd rather be an N-I-G-G-A. That's why I love Pac. Pac represented that spirit. DMX represented that spirit. That's us. Imagine us having intelligence with that niggerism. I'm too sexy for my... You know, we we took the music industry, we took the whole white supremacy and stunned it out, making it cool. We took their cars, we took their clothes. We put the soul into America. And motherfuckers all around the world want to come to be in America because of black men. Mm. Black men put the soul we take their cars, their jewelry. Nigga, we make that shit look glamorous. We take their music, we turn it into our own music called hip-hop. We make this shit look cool as hell. Could you imagine how cool we made our own culture look? And let me tell you something. There's something special about African-American people, yo. We was in Africa. We was the coolest out of all the tribes. And we got shipped off. It was certain niggas they was jealous of, bro. The people that are here in the United States is a special monster, bro. Like, we like the highest of the most high. Like, when it comes to, like, soul and the essence of life. Ain't nothing like America, nigga. We make America. If it wasn't for black people, nobody would want to come here. Come on. <laughs> we make this cool as hell. Ask the African people, why are you trying to go to America? Man, I want to live the less life, man. I want to live like, you know, the glamour, the glitz, the glamour. They look at us. They want to come over here because of us, bro. I ain't no other reason to come over other than opportunities for money. That's it. But black people are like the advertising. This is why they promote hip hop. Because hip hop makes America look cool to black people everywhere. And the diaspora, black people want to be here because it was. We made reggae. The African people, they just took reggae and turned it into Afro beats recently. Yeah. <laughs> they recently did that, nigga. We been made music. These black people right here, my nigga. Right here, my nigga. The illest niggas on the planet, nigga. <laughs> Fuck it. Ain't nobody cooler than African-American people, nigga. Period. We got the coolest white people, too. <laughs> Yo, white people, our white people cooler than any white people on the planet. We got the coolest military. I think this is the real Africa. And they just fucking playing with us about Africa. I feel like this is the real source land, bro. I really feel like that. Because you need four seasons to clean shit. That ice, that cleans the ground. The winter season actually is the cleanest season. It kills all bacteria. And then the sun comes back out. And then it becomes, it becomes, it's beautiful, it's clean. Yeah. It is clean. Shit clean. Yeah. That cold winter season is to clean the planet. That's what fall is. Fall is like the renewal of everything. Yeah. It's death and then it comes back to life. It's unique. That's part of life. It's the source shit right here showing you life and death. But America is like, like really an important place. Like this was here before everything. Yeah. Why do you think all the white people came here? Right. Right. Motherfuckers ain't just coming, wanting to come to America for no reason. It's a reason behind all that. It shit just don't happen for no reason. Why is America the shit that everybody's trying to get to? Nigga, come on, bro. This shit's sacred. Something sacred about this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? One country, we the, one country, 
air, this little ass piece of land and air, compared to all of other big lands. And China wants to own us. Africa want to come over here. Everybody want to be American, nigga. Oh, bro, everybody's trying to get here. You just see the borders. When you when you go out to Mexico, you see the borders. Most trying to get in. The line is mad long. Getting out, easy traffic. <laughs> Coming in, mad traffic. Everybody's trying to come into America. Wow. Everybody. And it's something when it's something like that, it's something bigger than what it appears. It's something spiritual about it. The motherfuckers want to come here and get it. You know what I'm saying? We were here. This land was always popular. This Pat land was always cool. That's why all them white people want to stay. Let me tell you something about white people. White people don't go nowhere. They ain't good. <laughs> One thing about white people, you see them go somewhere, you know it's a nice shit. You know it's some <laughs> nice shit. Now look at the spirit of white people today. When you see white people going, you know it's safe to go, and you know there's something of value there. <laughs> shit. There's a reason why white people fought for this land. They try to dominate and take over here. There's a reason, bro. There's something special about America, my nigga. Mm-hmm. fucking with us. We affect the whole world, too. We affect Africa. If, if, when we said Black, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter affected the whole fucking planet. All me, everything we do, they copy off us. Everything they do. People, even in the islands, people trying to do what? Get to America. Yeah. Come on, man. We already done niggas, bro. Yeah. I feel like this shit is sacred, bro. Like, we, we in the promised land. I feel like Marcus found a mind in the sun. They just found a mind. They woke up. Well, I woke up right here. I woke up right here, nigga. <laughs> we all woke up right here, nigga. I woke up right here. I ain't going to get fun. Don't get me wrong, it's seasonal depression, but we source consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's but I woke up in a motherfucker winter. Yeah, I decided I decided to go to the tropics. You know what I'm saying? I went to the tropics and I found that it's not about nature, it's about our people. You gotta be with your people. You know what I'm saying? That's the greatest part of nature is humanity. That's only everything in nature cool, but humanity, humanity, the only part of nature that needs help. So it's the mind of humans that we we have to focus on to heal. You know what I'm saying? Because they're the ones that even killing nature. Yes. Outside of humans, nature is fine. Absolutely. I went out to nature. I'm like, man, it's goddamn peaceful out this month. Ain't nothing wrong with this shit out here. The birds are getting along. The trees are getting along. The bees are getting along. Right. Every fish is getting along. Only thing I only, but I didn't come here for fish. I'm consciousness coming to human form to help humans. Right. Black men, humans. With that being stated, bro, we got to get out, bro. You already know you was in Atlanta. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in there trying to put Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm out here, bro. We gotta get up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a little studio. You can, you can come through. Oh, you got a little studio? You, you make music? No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's just for lives and stuff like that. Try to get on the channel and build with you, bro. Yeah, come through. Uh, but actually, um. You know, it's 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 been a very interesting experience. You know, uh, being able to speak with you. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm humbled and honored that you uh, watch my content. That you know that that means a lot. You know, from somebody of your uh, prestige in the conscious community. Um, I say, you know, save me. I'm gonna definitely save your information. Um, let's set something up. Let's have an official. You know, dialogue. And, you know, and and to be honest, it doesn't even have to be a debate. It can just be a you know reasoning and just adding value or you know building and destroying whatever the case may be. But you know, I'm I'm the master student, uh, so I'm not really even trying to debate. I mean, I can if if, if like that's really the the whatever, but um, that's just really not my particular angle. Um, but I'm not against it, you know. Whatever you want to do, I just, you know, let's do some work together. All right, cool. Um, well, brother, I want to thank you again for this opportunity. Uh, it really means everything. Peace. Hey, to lock you. my number in, man. Don't be a stranger. I'll do as you what say. What part of Atlanta you stay in? Uh, Ellenwood. Oh, that's cool. I'm in Decatur. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're right down the street. You're right down the street. Yep. Yep. I'm on the east side. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm on the south side, but you know I'm I'm still not far from you. Nah, you right up right up two eighty five. We right there by each other. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so stay in touch with me, bro. I'll do as you say. Peace and love. Peace, God. Peace, peace, family. This your boy, Young Pharaoh, and you are now watching Crumb TV. Naomi from Chicago. You're watching Crumb TV. I am Jake, and I'm watching Crumb TV. You're watching Crumb TV. This is Ashanti. I am watching Crumb TV. I'm a Crumb fan. Hold on, family. Hold on. Hold on. Surprise! This is Rami Tep Kweb, global distributor of the Rosari and Solar Serial Calendar, and you are watching Crumb TV. This is the real Remy Red, and I am watching Crumb TV. Crumb TV.